Hi, I'm Janine from Purple Room Yoga, and I also write Yoga Living 50 and Beyond on Substack. Today I'm gonna walk you through ankle to knee pose, also known as fire log pose, also known as double pigeon. It's a wonderful hip opener, um, and it can be kind of intense, so you need to go into it mindfully. So we're gonna start bringing your uh, left shin in front of your body so that the ankle and the knee are kind of lined up with your shoulders. The shin should be parallel to the edge of your mat, to the front of your mat, depending on which way you're oriented. And then you can take the right leg and bring it directly in front of the left leg. And now it's not a comfortable cross-legged position where you sort of normally cross mid-ankle. It's a slightly narrower, far less comfortable cross-legged position. You're trying to line up the ankles and the knees. And now if your knees bother you for any reason, feel free to put blocks under your knees for a little bit of support. And you can stay in this variation where the, the shins are one in front of the other. Um, this is sort of a modified version. If you have tight hips or knees, this is perfect. You can stay vertical or you can tip forward, tipping forward to the flat back, staying with your flat back or from the flat back, you can melt forward over the legs. Now, if your hips are a little bit more open, and this is available to you, you want to stack the ankle directly over the knee. And so you're still lining up ankles and knees, but now this is sort of the more traditional fire log um, ankle to knee pose where you're stacking the shins one on top of the other. But you don't want to do this at the expense of your knees or your hips. So you want to find the variation that's most comfortable for you. And again, here, you can take a block, place it under your knee for a little support. If that bottom knee is off the floor, also give that a little support. You don't want to be straining in the knees. And just like the previous version, you can stay vertical. You can hinge forward to the flat back, or you can melt forward over the legs. The idea is to get really deep into those hips. And then there's lots of variations that you can do from there. I like to kind of reach over to one side and take some side bending, which opens up in the hip a little bit more. But the main principles of this pose are either the ankles and knees are one on top of the other or one in front of the other. If you're modifying, again, you're sort of crossing mid-calf. It's a narrower cross-legged position. And you want to keep the feet flexed because what happens is if you relax the ankle, it creates slack in the hip and then you're not getting the stretch that you, that you really want. And so you want to keep the ankles flexed. This stabilizes the ankle and puts all the stretch in the hip where you really want it. And now when you're staying in this pose, as I said before, it can be a very intense hip opener. So try to be mindful, try to relax into the pose. You don't wanna force or grip. Um, I remember earlier when I was practicing yoga, I used to sort of clench my glutes at that time to kind of brace against the strong stretch, but you actually get much more out of it if you relax into it. So as you tip forward, you wanna make sure you're breathing, nice even breaths in and out through the nose. And you want to think of relaxing the hips and relaxing the thighs. And it's really a tip forward of the pelvis, right? If you round in the spine, you don't really, you sort of bypass the hip. So you want to tip from the pelvis. You're rocking to the front edge of your sit bones. And then you'll get this really nice opening in the hip. And if there's any struggle or strain, then back off, do a previous variation, support with blocks or blankets under your knees. You want to be as comfortable as possible in this very intense hip opening pose. Make sure you're breathing and whenever you're done, you want to take it to the other side. Again, taking the modified version with one shin in front of the other or the full version, one leg on top of the other. That's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.